internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now it is Sunday. That means it's time to go around the net with the weekly recap show that is all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance. So, stories on deck for today. Have we finally found one card to rule them all? Uber looks like it's getting put in park. Venmo stepping up and getting to the credit card wars, which something might interest you. And I hope you don't have dinner plans because American Express wants to invite you out for a night of fine dining and breathing. You will only get that reference if you are a 90s kid. Anyways, if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, press the subscribe button. Let's get to work. Okay, so first things first, the biggest story of the week by far was the Chase Sapphire Refresh. So in typical fashion, shameless plug, I have a full video down below that will be linked if you're interested. But Chase finally got around to making the refreshes official for both the Sapphire Preferred and the Sapphire Reserve. Now, there are a lot of new multipliers here that primarily direct you through Chase's travel portal. But the biggest thing you need to know is that both annual fees are not changing. So again, if you want more information on that, link down below. But with that said, let's take a look at the news stories. And the first one here has a new product coming to America, and that is the Curved Card. So if you're unfamiliar with Curved, Curved's actually been live overseas for quite some time. And what Curve is trying to do here is solve an age-old problem that could actually be solved if card issuers just choose not to solve it. And that is a lot of us have a bunch of different cards. Credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, Amex, debit cards, you name it. So what Curve's doing is saying, hey, you can have one card and then through our app, you can actually link to all those other cards and be able to manage your cards that way. And better yet, when you're at the store trying to make a purchase, you can actually pull up the app and choose which card you want to use at the store to make that purchase. So you're only carrying the Curve card as a opposed to carrying all of your cards with you. The Curve has had some success overseas and they were supposed to come over to America, I think last year or 2019, or maybe 2020, but obviously that got delayed. So they're here now. It's not live yet. There is a wait list, so you can sign up for the wait list. And then if you refer folks and you'll move up farther in the wheels, I think it's 50 spots per each referral. Now, the European version or the overseas version is a debit card. I've heard that the U.S. version will be a credit card, not a debit card, but that is strictly from commenters on the Doctor of Credit, so I haven't verified that just yet. And so if you are interested in joining the waitlist, whether it be debit or credit card, it looks like if you do join the waitlist, you'll be able to get 1x cash back for the first month of having the card. Now, that's on top of whatever card you choose to use underneath that, right? Because the idea here is that you would be able to select, let's just say, your grocery store. So you select the gold card from the app. So you're going to get your 4X back on grocery stores. But then for the first month, you would also get 1% back on that purchase through Curve. But that's it as far as sign-up bonuses go. Again, this isn't really a card for rewards. This is more of a card for aggregating all of your other cards. Now, this has also somewhat been solved by, you know, the rise of digital wallets, right? Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Pay, whatever. Whatever your phone of choice is you have a digital wallet and that's basically the same thing here except Curve is adding a little bit extra to it, right? So one of the key takeaways from the article is that let's just say you go in the store and you use the wrong card. You're, you can actually go back in time, as they say, and switch the purchase to the gold card so long as both those cards are linked to your app. So overall, I still think Curve is very interesting and I will have my eye on it. There is one potential use case here, and this is almost another version of PayPal Key, right? So if you're unfamiliar, PayPal Key essentially lets you take any credit card you want, link get to PayPal and then make purchases on other websites and then those purchases to the website at least show up as a PayPal and a MasterCard purchase. So what dudes were doing maybe a month or so ago, you know, if you're familiar with plastic, plastic allows you to pay things like rent and your mortgage with some credit cards. Now American Express doesn't like this so it doesn't work but you could take your American Express card, put it into PayPal Key, then go PayPal Key into Plastic, and then it shows up as a MasterCard purchase. Now, of course, Amex got hurt feelings and, you know, a bunch of clawbacks and cancellations. You know how it goes. But as Curved, at least on their website, is a MasterCard, I could see some potential interesting manufacturing spending debates coming up from this. So all I'm saying is I'm rooting for them to make this work, but I'm just keeping my eyes on it for right now. So let me know down below if you're interested in signing up on that wait list or what your thoughts are. Now we move on to our second story of the day, and that is the Uber card. Barclays currently holds the Uber card, but it looks like Barclays and Uber are now parting ways. In fact, the Uber card will now be retired in October, 
and it will be replaced with a brand new Barclays card, the Barclays View card. So let's take a look at what you're going to get and how this works. So they are ending the Barclays Uber partnership on October 22nd. So currently the Uber card is offering you 5% on Uber and Uber Eats, 3 back on dining, hotels, and airfare, and 1 back on everything else. Now this is being replaced with the Barclays View MasterCard, so no annual fee, but you're taking a hit in points. So 3x points on restaurants, 2x on internet, streaming, phone, and TV services, 2 on grocery stores, and 1 on everything else. Now it's also interesting to note that there is no grandfathering in. It looks like Barclays is taking, if you have an Uber card, it is going to be replaced with this Barclays View card. Overall, I do think this new View card is not as good as the outgoing Uber card, but what's more interesting is what's going to happen to the Uber card in the future. You know, I do think Uber as a name, as a portfolio of a credit card, definitely is worth living on somewhere else. I don't think Barclays was the best partnership for it. Maybe two, three years ago when they, you know, first came out with the card. But I've described Barclays before as kind of the junk drawer of credit cards. They have a bunch of different co-branded stuff. And you might find something useful in there. But for the most part, it's kind of meh at best. So that being said, to speculate out a little bit, I think what could happen to the Uber card is the obvious choice is to say American Express because American Express has the partnership with Uber right now um, for the gold card and then for the platinum card, I think you get Uber Cash for both of those. However, I don't really know if that one's going to happen. It doesn't feel or sound right. I, it seems like Amex thinks of Uber as someone, a vendor who can come in and help them supplement their premium cards with those pass-through costs of the Uber Cash back to Uber. And if you look at the Amex portfolio on the personal side of things, outside of the Hilton and Marriott co-branded stuff, which seems on brand, they don't really have anything else co-branded. Now on the business side they do. They have the Amazon, they have Home Depot and Lowe's I think as well. Um, but Amex doesn't quite seem like they would do it. Chase seems like an obvious one except for Chase still has to figure out what they want to do with Lyft. Now in the Sapphire refresh video I briefly touched on it and say those Lyft benefits were not talked about being extended and the multipliers actually come off the cards in March of 2022. So I could see one of two things happening here. I could see in March of 2022 when the Lyft multipliers come off of the cards, Chase saying, hey, we didn't take them away. We just put them on the Lyft credit card. That would make a lot of sense. Now if the Lyft credit card doesn't happen and they choose to part ways altogether, then I could see Chase as an interesting home for Uber. Chase is a little more willing to do the co-branded stuff. I mean, they have the Starbucks card, which is not awesome. Obviously, they have the Amazon portfolio that they're trying to keep as well. So I could see that. I could also see someone like City trying to jump in the mix. You know, City kind of picks and chooses when they decide to be competitive and not, but they do have a good mix of co-branded cards in their lineup. They're just not that awesome. So, but either way, I do see the Uber card finding another partner and because, again, they're not selling off the portfolio. Barclays are just retiring it. So it sounds like there was just more of a breakup there and Uber will probably just go out and seek to find their own new suitor. However, if the Uber card story does upset you, then Venmo might be stepping up to have you covered. So Venmo, the popular payment service from peer-to-peer -peer payments, it's owned by PayPal. They also have a card, the Venmo credit card, obviously, but it hasn't always been the most competitive thing in the world. It's a cash back card, but Venmo is now stepping up to make this competitive at least from now until the end of the year. So let's take a look at that. Now it's important here to note that if you like anything that we're talking about on the slide, you must apply today by 8.15 to lock this in. So you're going to be able to earn 6x back on your top category and earn 4x back on a secondary category. Now of course this is cash back. So what are your categories? Dining and nightlife, travel, bills and utilities, health and beauty, grocery, gas, transportation, and entertainment. And it is important to note here that there is a $10,000 category cap. So still, even with the cap, you're just talking about from August till the end of the year. So for that, I think $10,000 is fine. It's not $10,000 a month. It's $10,000, you know, I think, for the year. Um, but you're talking about being able to add in the Venmo card as a super specific card to fill out one category for you. So for example, if you're like me, you're just coming off of your Freedom Flex bonus from last year. They got you 5x back on groceries for the year or up to $12,000 in spend. Then you could slot in the Venmo card for no annual fee to get 6x back from now to the rest of the year is pretty good. And then obviously we'll see what they do starting in January of next year. I don't expect this to stay, but it doesn't really have to stay because it's a no annual fee card. So you can pick it up, use it for what it's want, then sock draw it or do what you want. So for that reason, I do think this does make Venmo pretty interesting to fill out a niche category in your lineup. 
But hey, if no annual fee cards are not your thing, our last story of the day is definitely for you, again, if you like fine dining and breathing. So American Express is launching what they're calling card member experiences specific to the gold and the platinum card. So we have two to talk about, and these are primarily through the Amex and Resi partnership. Remember, Amex owns Resi. Resi is kind of like a service where you can use to book restaurant tables and things like that. So let's take a look at the one that they have for the gold card first. So this one's called the Amex Gold Pop-Up Diner. So these are traveling outdoor restaurants with weekend stops in four cities. So here you have the schedule. They will be in Chicago, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and New York. Tickets go on sale on Resi on August 10th, so I guess I'm late telling you that at 10 a.m. You do need to link your Amex Gold card to your Resi profile and get them that way. Now the tickets here, you're looking at $75 a person, and that's going to be a four-course menu with drinks and tip included. Now not to fear, if you're a platinum card holder, you are not left out in the dark because there's one for you too, so let's take a look at that next. Amex Platinum Coast. This is a week-long event in New York City's East River. Platinum Coast is an Amex Plus Resi fine dining experience. Now you can see from the pictures here, this is basically like a floating restaurant on kind of like a barge, it looks like. This is going to be from the week of 9-17 to 9-21. They're going to have award-winning chefs. 20 different menus will be served over the five days between lunch, afternoon, and dinner. Prices range anywhere from $95 to $250 and include drinks and tip as well. Now the tickets here go on sale on August 18th at 10 a.m. And again, you must link your platinum card to Resi and make the reservation over there. So all right, so there you have it. If you don't have dinner plans, then go ahead, grab some tickets, and check one of those out. Now, in all honesty, if I live close to any one of those, I would probably go just to make a video about it, if we're being super honest. But overall, the gold one's funny to me, because when you say the word diner, I guess I just wasn't expecting $75 tickets for that. But I should have, because it's American Express, and it's the gold card, so it can't be a regular diner that you would think of, you know, down the street like your Coney Island. But anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up up down below if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel posting content just like this every monday wednesday and friday of course right here every sunday with the week that was in credit and finance so my question for you guys is let me know what news stories i missed down below or let me know what you think about this are you mad about the uber car are you planning to do the fine dining with amex love to hear your thoughts on it so anyways guys that's going to do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you on monday